Hey friend, how's it going? Thomas Decker here from guitarrevolution.ca. Today we're gonna address one of the most important lessons you need to learn. Do you know the music notes on your fretboard, on your neck? If you don't, look at what Joe Satriani told Steve Vai. Joe, did you make him learn all the names of the notes on the neck? The yes. First lesson? Yes. Absolutely. I have a, I have my lesson. I remember. So I'm during one of my first lessons with Joe. He was he was very strict and uh, about being prepared. Mm -hmm. This was a great training, you know. He said, "You want you to come back next week, and I want you to learn all the notes on the neck. You have to have every note on the <laughs> neck memorized." I'm like, "Okay," and I remember leaving, thinking, "I'm not going to do that. I can't, <laughs> I can't do that. What are all those notes?" Is that you know, how I'm he was, Joe? Yes. yes. But I go back to my lesson the next week, and yeah. Joe says, "Okay, play an F sharp on the B string," and I go. Uh, uh, and he goes, stop, go home, <laughs> and don't come back until you know all the notes on the neck. And he wrote the habit. It says, if you don't know your notes, you don't know SH, space, space, <laughs> exclamation mark. <laughs> and that was one of the most important lessons I had ever received in my whole life. Well, I don't think we can argue with some of the best guitar players ever, right? Two of them. Three, Rick Beato is there too. So how can we argue with that point? We can't. So today, let me solve this problem for you once and for all. Let's dig in. There are many ways you can memorize the music note. Uh, today are gonna be much nicer than Joe Satriani was uh, to Steve Vai back then. I'm gonna give you a formula, I'm gonna give you a shape that will uh, a key, actually, that will unlock all the notes on the fretboard for you. Super, like, quick and simple and give results right away. First thing, though, you're going to have to memorize the E string, the top E string, okay? Here we have E note. Let's just work on the natural notes, okay? Flats and sharps will be in between those. And we can get to that once you're there. But let's go with the natural notes on the E string. You have E, F, G, okay? Just think of this portion here, three notes. E, F, G, 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 E, F, G. Pause and memorize that. When you come back, Let's do the next notes here. Let's another three notes. So E, F, G. And then we're gonna go on the fifth fret. So this is gonna be the next note after G, which is A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. Memorize that shape, okay? A, B, C. A, B, C. A, B, C. All right. E, F, G, A, B, C, one more, D, solo, all there. We have seven notes here, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, super simple, right? Okay, what, what happens to the next frets here? Well, you just do exactly what you did here. Well. Starting from the 12th fret, all the notes repeat themselves. Okay, so it's like a mirror of what you've done down here. So here's gonna be E, F, G, just like here, E, F, G, E, F, G, and then here, A, B, C, and my fret ends right here on my, on my Strat and my Gibson, I can play another note there, I can play the D, right? So that's a 22 fret guitar, this is a 21. Maybe yours a 24, you can go even further. But it, it is exactly the image of what we did here. Let's go back. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. E, F, G, A, B, C, and I'm done there, but here will be D, right? Okay, from this, we're gonna unlock 
all the other notes, all the other notes on the other strings. Well, the easiest one is the other E string. This is the low E. And here we have the high E, right? So whatever we do on this E, we can do it right here. So whatever, all the notes are in the same spot. E, F, G, E, F, G, A, B, C, D. And then again, E, F, G, A, B, C, and I would have my D there. All right, so we have like a th one third of all the strings, all the notes. What about the ones that we did not use? Like for example, E, F, G. What about fret number two here? What is that note? That can be called an F sharp, E, F sharp, or G flat. And all depends on the context, all depends on the song, the key of the song, and but they can be called both ways, okay? And you're gonna find that in different songs. Sometimes this is gonna be an F sharp, but sometimes that can be called a B flat. Don't stress about that. All you need to know is that it's right there between F and G, right there. Same thing here, E, uh, A, B, C. What about this sixth fret here? It can either be an A sharp, or a B flat. Again, depending on the key of the song and all that, but it's right there on the sixth fret. Same thing here. You're gonna have D here. We didn't touch the ninth fret here. Well, that's a C sharp or a B flat. Same thing here on the 12. Here we have a D sharp or a B flat. That's how it works. Sample, don't stress about it. Let's just focus now on the key that will unlock the notes on the other frets. So let's start here on the fret five, okay? What note we have here again? A, E, F, G, A. Pause, memorize that, all right? Get that down or you know what Joe Satrani thinks about your knowledge. All right, A. Now we're gonna use a key that is like, skip a string and skip a fret. So it looks like this, finger one and finger three. And here, as you can already tell, it is the same note, one octave higher. If I play this finger here, nah, that's not a, the same note. Or if we go one fret higher, that's even worse, right? But here, you can, they fit perfectly. So this is the same, these are the same notes. Here you have an A, and here you have an A. Let's say you have a note that you find here on the fret three on D string. What note's this? Oh, get that key, and you find what note it is, F. Um, let's get this note here, fret eight on D string. What note is this? Well, you have right here. It can either be an A sharp or a B flat. There we go. You can transfer that knowledge all throughout D string. So whatever I have on E, E, E. Here will be F, F, G, G, A, A. B, B, C, C, D, and E again. E, D, and E again. Let's work on the G string, okay? Now the G string, you're gonna use the reference, the high E. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. Then again, E, F, O, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so those are the notes you're gonna be using. Not the high, not the low E, but the high E. And we're gonna apply the note with our pinky, okay? So let's say you have this note here. 
This is an A. To find an A on the G string, you put your pinky there, and then you, you go backwards using that key. You see? Right there. Note that I'm not using two frets, but three frets in between. And that's just because the way the guitar is tuned. So here I have E, A, and here I have A. All right? Now, if I go two frets, nope, one fret, no, it's three frets, okay? The, sh the key is pretty much the same. That open, that key, right? All right, uh, what note is this one? All you have to do, you use that key. This is a D, so this is also a D. What note is this one? Oh, you use the key. This is a B, so this is also a B. What note is um, this one? Well, use the key. Well, this is C sharp, because you know C is right here. C sharp is right here. Let's call it C sharp, it's a C sharp, right? Another example here with a sharp, okay? Uh, let's see, uh, what note is this one? Well, use the key and you have, you have a B flat. You know, here's B, here's B flat. Or A sharp, you know, here's A, here's A sharp. Now we have E, D, G, and E again. Let's work on the B string, so right here. For this, we're gonna use an extension of the key, starting from the low E. Here, we already know that is A. And A on D is right here, we have the key. From the D string, you're gonna place finger one, and stretch the key like we did for G and E. So, three frets forward, right? The other way you can do, you can stretch your fingers like that. Right, you can see how I'm reaching and how those are octaves. If I bring that, yep. Nope, that, that's perfect. Perfectly fit octave. So, one note is this. Oh, well, use the key. G, right? Uh, you can stretch a little bit like this. For the sake of this lesson, I'm gonna do this. I usually don't play like this. So you can see the key being applied right here. So G, G, G. Right? One note is uh, this one. Oh, let's put the key. This is C, C, C. One note we have right here. A, right? One note is right here on the seventh fret. And F sharp. Maybe you can't stretch all the way, so you just move around, right? F sharp. All right, now let's work on A string. The A string will be very similar to what we just did here, but reverse, we're starting on the high E, connecting to the G and then A. Take a look. Right here, we have this as a D. E, F, G, A, B, C, D. We know that using this key here, we have the same note on the G string. So D, D, and then from here, we can do like this to find the note on A string. D, D, and D. All right, one note is this one. All we have to do is octave. And then F, E, F. You can do the stretch here too. What note do we have uh, right here? Do a little stretch, apply the key, and C sharp. And one more 
example here, what note do we have right there? Well, just apply the shape. What note is this one? F sharp. So F sharp, F sharp. There we go. This is a very quick lesson, a very quick application, how to use this key and finally get the note, the notes on your fretboard and know your crap. <laughs> and if you need, go watch it again, go slowly. I know it's a lot of things that I'm talking about here, but take your time and learn this because it is that important not on my own words you saw those guys talking about so this is for sure one of the main tools every lead guitarist must have in their tool belt and there are more and if you want to learn more of these tools get you as yourself equipped with these tools download my 30-day lead guitar jumpstart guide start working and developing your skills to become the best lead guitars you can ever be. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you in the next one. See you then.